Hello, my name is Tom Rockefeller, and I'm from California in the United States. The problem that brought me to the Synagogue Church of All Nations was an addiction to smoking. I smoked uh, cigarettes for 40 years. Every day I smoked 20 or 30 sticks every single day. And it was uh, taking a very heavy toll on my life. It was controlling me and I tried and tried and tried many different ways to quit smoking and I failed at every attempt. So that's what brought me to the church was uh, to be delivered from cigarette smoking. The smoking addiction consumed me in ways you can't imagine. Uh, the amount of money that I spent smoking cigarettes over 40 years accumulated to over 100,000 US dollars, approximately 15 million Naira. It was affecting my social life, my personal life. Uh, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't uh, go more than 30 minutes without a cigarette. So anytime I was in a meeting, if I was with friends or family at an event, I would have to excuse myself so that I could take a cigarette. In the middle of the night, I would wake up from sleep just to feed my nicotine addiction by smoking cigarettes. And I was just tired of it. I just couldn't take it anymore. I've tried different methods to quit smoking. I've taken pills from prescriptions. I've taken patches with nicotine to subside the addiction. And uh, I've tried quitting on my own cold turkey. Nothing has ever worked. So I came to the church of synagogue of all nations and I was praying that I would finally find deliverance from cigarette smoking. When I got here, I joined the congregation. I was watching the deliverances and the, uh, the, the prophecies and I was very skeptical. I didn't believe. I was not a believer. I believed that I was not going to be delivered from this cigarette addiction. Then TB Joshua came to me and called me out. He prophesied to me, and what you've seen on the screen is what he told me, that there's trouble in my life, and that it's disturbing my family, and that there could lead to suicide. Well, he did not know me. I did not know him. So there's no way he could have known these things other than the gift of God telling him these things. The fact that they, what he told me is absolutely true. Every single word, there's, there's no doubt that this is absolutely true. And I was amazed. I could not believe it. I was shocked that he could see so deep into my life, not having known me whatsoever. My brother is, has serious medical problems in the U.S. And he has family problems with his daughter and his daughter's uh, boyfriend and, and their child. And right before I came to Nigeria in December of last year, he confided in me that he was seriously considering suicide and that he didn't know what he was going to do with his life. It meant nothing to him. And this is exactly what T.B. Josh, Joshua told to me. So after the prophecy, T.B. Joshua laid hands on me and I don't know what overcame me. I just collapsed. I. <laughs> I had never experienced any, anything like that in my life and I did not know what was happening. I was confused and I was delirious. I was dizzy and I just, I was afraid. I tried standing up. I called for assistance from my friend, Engineer Ben, but it was apparent that nobody could help me. I could not get up on my own power. After I did get up, I went home. The engineer Ben took me back to my vehicle in Ikeja. I didn't know at that time what was going on, that uh, what was happening inside my life. I wasn't aware. I just knew of the events that happened. I didn't know the spiritual power that was, that was going on in my life at that time. When I got to my car, I still had cigarettes remaining in the door of my car. And after Engineer Ben left, I lit one of my cigarettes. Not because I had a desire to smoke. It just seemed like it was what I was supposed to do because I've been doing it all my life. 
When I lit the cigarette, I took a puff and uh, smoke entered my lungs and my stomach began to burn and my throat started to close and I was feeling very, very ill. So I just threw the cigarette out the window. I couldn't stand it any longer. Since then, I've not had a cigarette, and it's been three weeks. I'm smoke-free. Thank God. I'm free. I've been delivered by no other means but God's grace and no other way that I can imagine. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Nous venons entendre le merveilleux témoignage de cet homme qui venait de la Californie, qui est venu avec une addiction à fumer la cigarette et aussi de, du chanvre indien. Il a dit depuis plusieurs années, il se réveille même pendant la nuit pour pouvoir fumer. Il a dit cette addiction depuis plusieurs années, rien n'y faisait, il n'était même pas un croyant. Mais après que l'homme de Dieu prophétique vit le choix et prié pour lui, il est tombé sur la première fois sur la puissance du Saint-Esprit. Et maintenant, il est complètement libre de cette addiction, il fume plus de 30 cigarettes par jour. Hemos escuchado de ese testimonio de ese hombre recibió una profecía del hombre de Dios diciendo que había un espíritu de suicidio en su familia. Vino aquí con el problema de adicto de, de fumar cigarrillos durante 40 años. No puede dejar de fumar, pero después de que vino aquí recibió la profecía y liberación impactante en el nombre de Jesús. Ahora está completamente libre, no fume cigarrillos, no tiene ningún deseo para fumar. Y está aquí para decir que gracias a Dios está liberado en el nombre de Jesús. Now that I've quit smoking, I've noticed some other changes in my life. Uh, before, while I was smoking, because my addiction was so strong, it would consume my thoughts continuously. So I could not focus on daily tasks. I couldn't focus on my family. I couldn't focus at work. Uh, now that I don't, uh, you know, before when I was smoking, I would look for any reason to excuse myself to smoke. So I was consumed by excuses that I would have to develop on a continuous basis to uh, to have my cigarettes. Now, I'm free from cigarettes, I'm, and I've freed my mind from the need to create excuses, lies and, and diversions so that I can smoke. So now that I'm smoke-free, uh, my work is, is much stronger. I can focus at work much better. I noticed a, a lot of improvements in my, f in my family life, social life, and uh, I'm just, I, I'm truly blessed. And I can't thank the, I can't thank it, the TV Joshua enough. I'm telling you, the uh, USA needs Stevie Joshua. California needs Stevie Joshua. Even in meetings, you just look around, you can't find him. You know, it was actually embarrassing. Sometimes maybe we go in my own car, he smokes there, and when I, anytime I come, I say, oh, I'm sorry. I knew it was not him doing it because the kind of remorse he shows anytime he smokes around me shows that he cannot help himself. So I told him that you have to come here. You know, the time I brought him here, it was on a Saturday, so I didn't stay with him. So before I could know it, he left, you know. But I told him I was coming to pick you after the service. But he didn't wait for me to pick him. He left, you know. So I now, I wanted to get angry with him because anytime I tell him, I said, look, you have to come here. But thank God, at the point, my wife talked to me. I said, look, you have to take it easy with him because he doesn't understand what is happening and he's not a believer yet. So... Later, I talked to him again, and he agreed to come. You know, he came. He never still believed that he could witness what uh, he experienced. He never believed. You know, he just came and they gave him a seat somewhere. At, I knew he must have been trying to avoid the man of God. But you know you can't avoid God. So when the man of God walked up to him, I was so excited. And immediately, the man of God told him exactly what was happening in his life. And ever since, his life has improved. You see, he's become a better person. Before, I've never heard him talk about his families, but now, anytime we are discussing, he will talk about my brother, he talk about my... Click on the link below to visit my blog where you will learn more about TB Joshua, listen to countless testimonies, and get clear step-by-step -step instructions on how to visit Skoans to get your free and permanent healing with just a touch. And if you don't have the means to visit Skoans, don't worry I will tell you what to do to get your healing in your home. This is free support, I need nothing from you in return. I am just helping. You have nothing to lose, just give it a try and you will be amazed as I was. Let me know if you need any help. I am waiting for your testimony. Please subscribe and visit my channel to watch many amazing healings that will blow your mind give you hope and prepare you for your own healing.